ื่องแบบนี้มันไกลกับผมได้ไงเรื่องความรักมันห่างจากผมตั้งไกลไม่เคยคิดว่ามันจะมีจริงไหมไม่เชื่อเรื่องราวนี้เลยจนวันนี้มันที่ได้มาพบคุณเกิดสบายและเกิดอาการไม่เคยแค่คุณจิ้มเคยยินสุดตาเฉยๆอ้อยเคินหัวใจอ่อนแอแล้วผมก็สดคุณทั้งใจเหมือนผมจะอยู่ตรงกลางแสงไฟกลัวยังกลัวกลัวกลัวว่าคุณไม่สนใจคิดก็ไม่ทิ้งได้แค่หึงจนวุ่นวายแล้วผมต้องบอกคุณว่าไงสมมุติว่าเกิดคุณรักใครกลัวยังกลัวกลัวกลัวว่าคุณไม่สนใจคิดก็ไม่ทิ้งได้แค่หึงจนวุ่นวายกระดันไปรักคุณคุณแล้วโทษทีครับไม่ตั้งใจก็ดูสิครับลงอีกแล้วหยุดมองคุณในที่นี้กระดันไปรักคุณคุณแล้วโทษทีครับไม่ตั้งใจก็ดูสิครับลงอีกแล้วหยุดมองคุณในที่นี้คุณทำให้โลกเปลี่ยนปฏิหารที่มีหัวใจก็เป็นคุณใช่หรือเปล่าเสกความเงาที่มีหายไปจอดที่ครับไม่ตั้งใจก็ดูสิครับลงอีกแล้วหยุดมองคุณในที่นี้คุณทำให้โลกเปลี่ยนปฏิหารที่มีหัวใจก็เป็นคุณใช่หรือเปล่าเสียความเงาที่มีหายไป Thank you for saving me. <laughs> I'm not here to save you. I'm doing this for myself. What does that mean? Hey, what are you doing? Don't forget, you work for me. If you can hire them, so can I. It's just spending some extra money. But if I can find a scapegoat, then it's worth it. What's the meaning of this? Were you just using me to take out Knockington for you? <laughs> I wouldn't say using you. More like borrowing. He's not at the police station or the hospital. Now we're checking. Villagers' homes. Maybe someone saved him. What's that? You slipped up. Has anyone been caught? I've arranged the car to look like an accident. Then go search and find him. If you can't, then don't come back. Morons. You already know, right? That Mr. Takahashi and his son—they insist on working with Chanwell, and refuse to talk with me, saying that they will only do business with Nackington. <sighs> Calm yourself down. Are you discouraged already? If Ken is unable to return, the negotiation between Chanwell and Skyline Real definitely won't take place. Don't you? Want to at least give it one more try? What's the meaning of this, Mr. Takahashi? Why can't you just give my proposal a chance? Mm, that's not the case. The reason why I came to Thailand for investment was because I had a deal with Mr. Nakintown. If I'm going to change my plans, I still want to talk to him first. You know for a fact that. Mr. Nakington is not here, but still, I'm willing to wait for him, unless it is made clear that he will be unable to participate in this project. You heard what I said. I'm done waiting. I don't care if he's dead or alive. What are you planning? Don't tell me you're going to kill Ken.
the owner of Tarp Development, trying to kill the CEO of Chanwell over a business dispute. It just makes sense. You! You manipulated me! I'm going to expose you! You think I'm going to just wait? For you to expose me? Uh, calm yourself down! Don't do anything to me! Don't, don't forget, we are partners. Useless partners like you are replaceable. Go clean this up. Yes, boss. Boss, when I saw Nakenthan in the woods, he seemed really strange, and the woman he was with kept calling him Thomas. Oh, also when Dennis called him Nakenthan, he looked confused, like he didn't remember. Could it be he lost his memory? It's possible, boss. He lives with the villagers here now. And they all call him Thomas. But boss, won't he suspect something because we keep chasing after him? They still haven't caught the culprit yet. I'm really worried for Thomas's safety. Come on now, Pat. The police already drew the portraits of the two bad guys. They'll definitely be caught. How about this? If you're still anxious, I'll tell the villagers to look out for any strangers entering the village and report the sightings to me immediately, all right? Fine. But that's not what I'm most worried about, Chief. What I'm worried about is... That man asking all those questions, he's almost onto Thomas. What else is going to happen? Hey, I guess what is meant to happen is bound to happen, you know? Anyhow, that zombie face is Thomas now, and he didn't remember anything. If he did, he would have gone home with that man. He wouldn't have stayed here and pretend to be Thomas and suffer. Am I right? Uh, don't think too much, Pat. You'll grow wrinkles. Look at mom's face. Mm, you hooligan! Hey! Mom, could you not hit me for a day? I Ugh. can! I just can! Ugh. Look at the Ugh. words enough, coming out of your mouth! Enough, enough. 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 Like this. enough with the Watch your mouth! You. <clears throat> hey, is Thomas still awake? Not yet. Then hurry on home and cook him a nice meal to eat. He'll be hungry when he wakes up, right? Come on, let's go. <laughs> These are your clothes and personal items. Thank you. You're not Thomas. You're Ken. Don't act this way, please. How can you be so regardless of Natasha's feelings? She's waiting for news on you every single day. Do you not have any idea how much pain she's in?
Hey? Where did Thomas go? <gasps> did he get captured by the bad guys? The patient isn't missing, but he went home. Huh? Went home? Yes, the doctor released him. So he just left with his friend. Friend? Yes, a man came to visit him, then took him home. I want to go home soon too. Here, I'll come back for it later. Pat! Pat! Dad. Pat! Wait! Wait for me! Seb isn't there? Mr. Sebastian has been on leave since yesterday. Then, do you know where Seb went? And what he went to do? Mr. Sebastian booked a ticket to Pasnaloka, but he did not say what for. Thank you. How are you? You alright? Just a scrape on my head. Mm. Mm. So you're feeling better? Do you hurt anywhere else? No, I don't. I'm fine. <gasps> I'm finally at ease. If anything happened to you, we'd be sad beyond measure. That's right. If our village loses Thomas, that would just be so terrible, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thomas means everything to our village, even more than Chief Tao. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how could you do this? Bring Thomas out without even saying a word. That's right. Are you kidnapping him? It's not a problem. Mr. Seb didn't kidnap me or anything. The doctor said I was good to go, so I wanted to go home and surprise everyone. Mr. Seb came by, so I asked him to drive me home. Even if that's the case, you should have told me you were leaving the hospital. I couldn't find you. I was worried that, worried that- That I ran away? I was just worried you were harmed again. Disappearing like that worries us. Mm, never mind, my child, as long as you're all right at home. Uh, Lauren, take Thomas upstairs to rest. Uh, hey, folks, thank you all for coming over to see Thomas, yeah? Come all on, right. get another day. Okay. Let him rest today. All right. Rest well. He just right. got out of the all hospital. Right. We don't well. want any more issues. Thank you, thank you. You can lie to others, but you can't lie to yourself. What did you say? If this is what you choose to do, you have to accept the consequences. Hey! Pat! Hey, hey! Hey, Pat! Pat! Coming, Chief! Hey, Pat! Something happened! Oh, hey, Thomas! Are you feeling better? Much better. Uncle Chief, what happened? It's the guests! More than 10 guests have called to cancel their bookings and their entry to the running event. They want their money back because they were worried about the safety issues due to the gunshot incident during last night's dance festival. I already told all of the villagers not to spread the news, but it's out in the open now. Oh my. Otherwise we could cancel the event for now and wait until this all blows over. There's nothing more we can do, Chief. We'll just have to wait and see how this goes to decide our next step. Oh, I feel really depressed. We worked so hard to build this new homestay and thought of so many good ideas. In the end, no guests are coming like usual. Oh, way. But I think that you and Shiva has developed a lot from before. We've come so far. I don't want everyone to lose faith. I think we should carry on. We can't quit. Hey. I understand your determination and your confidence. But I still want you to rest and take care of yourself first. Help out when you're better. 
Thank you for your concern. But I don't like giving up halfway and leaving things unfinished. Therefore, I will help out from start to finish. Hey, Thomas, do you have some new ideas? Yes, but I need to think it through before I share it with you. Don't worry. Chuan Shiva is like a second home to me. I won't let the effort I put in for it go to waste. Oh, Thomas. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Is so kind, letting me sleep upstairs. <laughs> you still have injuries, and I'm not that ruthless. How could I tell you to sleep downstairs? Just sleep here. You're still injured. So you admitted now that you were ruthless to me before. <laughs> then what about what you've done? You're right. So what have I done? Oh, I remember. I cheated. I was unfaithful. And I broke your heart. You wanted to break up, call off the wedding. But I didn't. So I pestered you until we both got lost in the woods. Then I lost my memories. Mm hmm? After doing that to you, I deserved it. All your ruthlessness. Am I right? <sighs> the thing is, I... You can lie to others, but you can't lie to yourself. Mom knows that this is a very selfish thing to say, but right now, you're happy, and Thomas is happy. So why not just be happy until the end, my child? That's right. That's right. It's exactly like you just said. You treated me that way. Of course I'd be relentless. You should prepare yourself. Because I'm going to make it all up to you. You would never be a ruthless person again. Uh, okay. Sleep now. You've been tired all day. You should prepare yourself, because I am going to make it all up to you.
Kiss me, my princess. You kiss. You turn me into a true prince. I won't be a frog anymore. No. I can't. I want you to be a frog. To always be my frog. I don't want you to be a prince. No. No way. No. No way. Huh? No, no way. Ah! I'm waiting for you at the Bridge of Love, Thomas. Why did you invite me out here? That day, we didn't write out names. <laughs> Come on. Let's go tie this on. Um, wait. Hmm? J For what? J just Let's a second. Tie it on. <laughs> Let's tie it. Tie it on. That night at a dance, you said you had something you wanted to confess, right? So you agree to be my girlfriend? I... I have something to confess. It's... It's that... Are you gonna say it? Or should I say it? For you. Then, what are you going to say? I'm going to confess my love for you. That was your original plan, right? <laughs> the, the thing is, Thomas... It's alright, you don't have to say anything. Just let me confess for you. I love you. I don't know what will happen in the future. All I know is I'm right here today beside you. I want to care for you and stay by your side. Unlike you have always been for me. Ever since that night I woke up, you've never left me. You even risked your life for me. The closer I get to you, the more I'm sure of how I feel. It's... 
The same thing you said before. Word for word. There was something related to you. I have a good memory of it. I remember everything. <sighs> Even while you're suffering from memory loss? Oh. I loved you before I lost my memory. And I love you still after. Even if I regain my memories, I'm sure I'll still love you. Let's be in love like before. I, I love you too. You actually believe that if I regained my memories, I would still love you. That I, not Kim Ton, would be that stupid to really mean that. Huh? Yes. Yes. I regained my memories. Just like I said, everything related to you, I remember clearly. I remember everything, from when I became Thomas up to now. And why would you lie? I have my reasons. Don't tell anyone yet. Even Natasha? Besides you, I don't want anyone else to know. I have something else to deal with. What are you planning, Ken? Will it take long? I'm worried about Natasha's feelings. It won't be long. You'll see. your memories then why would you continue pretending to be Thomas just like I said I'm gonna make up for everything Thomas would never make you a ruthless person again however Nakington will not I gave you a chance to tell the truth but you still lied so be prepared to suffer the consequences not only you, but the entire village. You hit me with a car, caused my memory loss, lied to me and restricted my freedom, forced me to labor for this damn village. And one more thing. You said we were a couple, right? You want to bleed me dry? Wait, it's a misunderstanding. It's really not what you think. The truth is, I was going to confess to you. I was planning to tell you, but, but, but I couldn't. I was afraid. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Afraid of losing everything. Although we did bad things to you, 
We didn't do any of that on purpose. We were just trying to buy some time so we could redeem our land. You are never going to get what you wish for. I will take back everything. Even though I helped develop this place, I can also destroy it without feeling pity. So be prepared to live a rootless life with no home. Please, no. Please don't hurt the villagers. Although we were selfish, we really love you. We admire you with all our hearts. We hid you away because we knew there were people trying to kill you and wouldn't be safe to let you go. You think I make another stupid mistake? I'd rather be in a rain of bullets than stand alongside you liars. You say that you love me, worry about me, like it's for my own good. But you're bursting with joy inside, seeing me like this, treating me like a fool. Laughing behind my back. You guys having fun, right? See me in the stage? That's not true, Thomas. Thomas, please. Listen, that's not the... Mr. Nankin Todd. Mr. Nankin Todd. Please have mercy on her village. <laughs> You can't ask anything of me. I'm willing to do anything. Willing to do anything? Yes. As long as you have mercy on the village. I will do anything you ask me to do. Anything I ask you. Thomas knows the truth now? Mm. <sighs> Does he know everything? Yes. <gasps> oh. Hey, Mom. Huh? Thomas now knows that he's actually Nakinton. <sighs> but he doesn't really remember anything else. Uh, 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 what else did Thomas say? That... that... he's still very confused now. Hmm, do you... Uh, do you think that he's upset? Oh, Mom, of course he's upset. Uh... But he wasn't that upset. Didn't I just say that he was really confused? Still doesn't remember much, so his friend will be taking him back to Bangkok for treatment. Oh. If things have come to this, there's no point lying to Thomas just to let him go, right? Thomas is not some wickedly evil person. He wouldn't have us all killed. Mm, that's right. We've been together for months. Uh. Mm, he'll probably forgive us mm. because he really had no other choice. Mm. I'll be leaving with Thomas. Why are you leaving? To take care of him. Have you forgotten we're the ones who caused Thomas's accident and the reason for his memory loss? Now that he remembers he's Nankitan, there's a lot of work he's responsible for. I could be of assistance to that. How are you going to stay with him? I'll be his secretary. Oh. I'll help him with a lot of minor things. As for housing, don't worry about it. He has such an enormous house, I definitely have a room to stay in. <laughs> hmm. What about the work on the village? Without you and Thomas around, our village is doomed. Uh. Give the chief some credit when you say something like that. Even someone like me has been watching Pat and Thomas' work. I would be able to do the job. Ah, uh, right. The chief is awesome. And... You too, Laurent. You can do this. You're in charge of the work Thomas and I did. Understand? So I get the mess? It's not a mess. It's a thing called trust. Because I believe in you. Care for the job, care for mom, care for everyone, and work in my place. You, 
don't need me to tell you this much. You can always contact me. I still have my cell phone when I'm there. Mm. Just call me when you miss me, and I'll come back. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, if you've already decided, then I won't stop you. Mom knows that you're still blaming yourself and want to take on the responsibility of everything that's happened. Don't worry. I'll care for this family, care for our shop, and care for Laurent. Go on. Maybe you could help him regain memories that belong to the two of you, my child. <laughs> Right, Mom. <laughs> Let Pat leave with Thomas. Maybe this bad thing will become a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Chief? Why else would he ask her to be his secretary? <laughs> she got a job right? title. Yeah. A position as soon as she gets there. Ah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, they'll be bound to one another. Of course, they'll be bound a little. Ah. Oui. What? Enough. I can't. I want you to be a frog. To always be my frog. I don't want you to be a prince. No. No way. No. No way. No way. No way. Thank you so much for letting me take Pat. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> I also wanted to say thank you to Mr. Nackenton for not holding us accountable, even though we deceived you. It's all in the past. Although I don't remember anything yet, but I can feel that everyone is sorry for what happened. I don't feel all right, but I understand that I'm partly responsible for this mishap. <laughs> I I also want to apologize for doing wrong things to you, and I want to thank you as well for helping us develop our village. I don't know if you'll ever come back, but if you do, you'll see that our village has been developing smoothly according to your plan. I will be coming back. There are still problems in the village. I won't leave them behind. <laughs> I'll be back to help. Ken. We need to catch the flight. I must go. Thank you all for taking care of me. I will never forget it. Let's go. Mom? I'm off. Mom? <laughs> <laughs>
Laurent, Chief, uh, it's up to you all. I'll call you guys as soon as I get to Bangkok. Mm. Mom knows that you're strong and you've never let anyone worry. Just call us if there's anything. Even though we can't be together, Mom will always be with you. You know that, right? <laughs> of course I do, Mom. I love you so much. You don't have to worry. I'm grown up now. I'll take care of everyone. Believe in me. Uh-huh. I know. Take care of Mom. Uh, honestly, Pat is just going to Bangkok. Why are we so reluctant to part like we're sending her off to war? Because <laughs> I'm worried. Has Pat ever left home for this long? I'm her mother. Of course I'm in a bad mood, you got me? Yes, 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 yes. I understand your feelings. <laughs> then, then how about we do this? We bless the two of you, harmony and happiness, and may your hands hold a gold cane. Oh, hey, not that. <laughs> Whoops, wrong blessing. <laughs> and good luck, good luck. <laughs> mm, good luck, my dear girl. Good now luck. Then I'm off. Uh... Step, I'm sitting in the back. You're not sitting in the front? What? I can sit wherever I want. Step, stop the car. But what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Get out. Hey! Why are you doing this? So you start off the same way I did. With nothing. Let's go. Are you alright, Anna? Whoa! I, I don't need you to pet my-
my back. You, you, you lied to me. You said Thomas was from Pal... Pauli, Pauli me, or something random authentic group when actually Thomas was a rich billionaire. Hey, you were afraid I was gonna steal him from Pat. Huh. I I shouldn't have patted you. Now I'm infected with germs. What did you say? <laughs> Mom, I'm leaving now. <gasps> Sorry for the mess. Hey, loser, stay uh, right there. Go on, go on. Give me some pieces. I said one. stop. I should have invited a monk to dispel all the misfortune. <gasps> she wants to steal Thomas? That's impossible with a rival like my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Come after me. Come after me if you can. Loser. You loser. Come after me. Fred. Hey. Come after me. Come after me! Stop right there, loser! Come ah. after me! Come on! Come Where on! Where are you running to? Give me Come back on. one time! Come on! Stop right there! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ah. Oh! Oh! Ah. 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 Hey. Uh. Hey. Ah. Lauren! Hey! Hoi. Are you alright? Hey! Hey! Oi. Lauren! Are you hurt? <sighs> Have you lost your mind? Do you know how dangerous this is? If I hit my head, I'd be severely injured. Mm. By then, I hope you can't speak. That mouth wastes resources when it eats. Then let's have a review of what other things a mouth does. Uh, come. Uh, don't don't come, come near me. Don't come near me. Stop. Stop. Welcome back home, Mr. Ken. While I was gone, you must have been troubled. My apologies. No worries. As long as you are safe and sound. Ken! Natasha! I've missed you. I missed you too. What in the world happened? Why did Seb call me out of the blue telling me that he found you and he's bringing you home? Where have you been all of this time? Why didn't you come back home? Do you know how worried I was? Oh, so many questions all at once. Which question should I answer first? Miss Natasha. Ken isn't feeling well. Let Ken rest first. We'll give you answers later. All right. Let's go inside. All right. It's you. Oh, that's Pat, the new servant. Servant? Yep. Pat owes me money, so she's working here to pay off her debt. Right, Pat? Yes. Oh. Then why haven't you greeted Miss Natasha? Miss Natasha is the hostess-to-be of this house, which means that she's your master. Never mind, Ken. No can do. Your status here is a servant, so you should learn how to respect your masters. Got it? Greetings, Miss Natasha. 
Come, let's go inside. Okay. You can clean up yourself. Mr. Ken has given you this room. I knew it. Knew what? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all, Uncle. Mr. Butler. Yes, I'm sorry, Mr. Butler. <sighs> I don't know what you have done to Mr. Ken, but I have been the butler of this home since before Mr. Ken was born. And I'll tell you, this won't be easy. Fine then. It's better than everyone going to jail. Thank you.